If you've seen Deadly 60 before, then you'll know that rock climbing and snakes are two of my favourite things in the world. So going rock climbing looking for snakes is kind of my idea of heaven. But there is a very real reason for this. You look along the waterline here, you'll see the rock face is pockmarked with tiny holes and that's where I think we're going to find our snake. Unfortunately, Johnny, my cameraman, is uh, he's pretty tough but even he can't swim over there carrying that huge camera and climb up the rock face filming using it. So everything I see, I'm gonna have to film myself in a Deadly 60 style. Time to get wet. Hello, Stevie. <laughs> the boat can't get any closer to the rocks. So to get there, I'm gonna have to swim without getting the bag with the camera in wet, of course. There's an entrance to a cave here. I'm gonna have a squeeze through and see what I can find. The snake comes out onto the rocks after hunting in the sea to chill out and digest its dinner. So it's a good chance for me to get a closer look. Kind of weird this, crawling into a deep cave, looking for deadly venomous snakes. Oh, look at that. I've got it. I've got my first yellow lip crate. It's the exact kind of snake that we came here to this island to find. This has got to be one of the strangest snake catches I've ever done. Hanging off the edge of a rock with a camera in one hand and a venomous snake in the other. So I've got to keep my wits about me and concentrate. If you're wondering how it got the name yellow lip sea crate, have a look at the front of its head. This bright yellow marking across the front of its snout gives it its name. The snake is just resting on the rocks, but I want to see them in action. But I'm not going looking up there, I'm going down there. So I've got to get kitted up for diving and search for one of these venomous snakes in their watery environment. One, two, three. 